The most addictive purchase for me in Warhammer is colors. There's nothing better than coming home to a new bundle and be so eager to try them out, appreciating the smell. Okay, I have a problem, I admit it. When you're first starting out on the hobby, it can be very tempting just go out and buy a big bundle of colors, but not always that's the wisest choice, because you don't get to choose which paint are in sight. So I'm gonna hit you with some truth, my truth, and tell you how many paints you actually need and how to select them. Well, first off, you need a white, no. Now this one, yeah, this one is okay. And a black. Oh, that was super insightful, wasn't it? Now I'm gonna choose the rest of the colors using the color wheel, which is a wheel with colors in it. That's used to show the relationship between colors. And for each slice, I'm gonna pick two colors. One more like a base tone, and the second one with an higher value, meaning a lighter color than your base coat. Soon I'm gonna make a video about color theory and the whole color wheel, so stay tuned for that. So why am I doing this? Why am I doing this this way? Because first off, you will start looking at the color wheel, which is the starting point to get acquainted with colors and how they work, thus being able to paint color meaningful miniatures. And maybe you're thinking, what the hell is she doing? Why is she putting two colors per slice? If you have already one, you can add white. Yes, yes, of course, you can do it. You can do it. You can do whatever you want. You can add your coffee, paint with your cat hair, whatever you want. I would suggest to pick always a lighter tone for each color you want to paint, because if you always add white to create your highlight color, what's gonna happen is that the white is gonna desaturate the color, meaning it will be more grayish, more dull, less bright. That's why I think it's important to pick two with one lighter and one darker. In this way, you get to choose if you want to have a bright color, a bright highlight, or if you want a more dull looking, very grim dark, very... If you have a higher value color, you get to choose. If you don't, you don't get to choose. By having two colors, you have the option, you have the freedom. And that's what we want, right? Freedom. You don't have to stick perfectly to every single color of the color wheel. If you don't like one color or if you don't think that you have use for that color, just skip it. You don't have to buy all this, you know? That's perfectly fine. The only exception to this rule is for red and orange. Because from these two, I will actually pick four colors for my browns and other extra two colors from red to create my skin tone. And from this, you realize that you can actually use browns to paint skin tones as well. I will try to put all the names of the colors that I picked in, down in the description. But I would also invite you to try and pick your own. I would also suggest you to try and use something simple as Canva, which is free, and just uh, create a new project and insert some text or something. You will have the option to change the color of the text. Uh, so there you can look at all the gradients and start getting acquainted with colors. And then from there you can start picking your own colors. Just look at the gradients and try and understand how to work. And if you want, I'm here to help. 